515 turning to weather right now. It's an impact day with more shower chances. Molly, it's been a rainy start to this summer season. It really has been today. More rain than the stronger storms that we've seen over the last week or so. So that's good news. We will likely have some storms roll in as we head into the afternoon. The threat for severe weather again. It's not zero, but it is really, really low today. And in part, it's because it's already cloudy. And for most of the day, we have at least a chance for rain in the forecast. Here's satellite and radar. It's cloudy with maybe a few showers across our northern counties right now. Dry air is winning out. That's going to continue for another hour or two. But I do know that the rain that's off to our west will move in as we head into the next few hours. So it kind of looks like there's a circle on radar. That's what we look for when we're seeing dry air on radar. But there's some steadier rain that's falling in Madison and Sun Prairie. That whole system is going to work this way. Eventually, the rain is going to kind of eat up the dry air. So this is what you can expect. Scattered showers as we head through most of the morning. But there is going to be some dry time today. It's not a complete wash out still. I keep the umbrella a rain jacket handy. Mostly showers this morning after two, three o'clock, especially if we can get the right amount of dry time and some sunshine. We could have a few storms as we head into the afternoon and as we head into the evening. So if you're headed to Summerfest, I wouldn't necessarily cancel the plans, but plan ahead because there will be rain around and we have that chance for some thunder and some lightning. If you hear thunder, you see lightning while you're out at Summerfest. It's a good idea to find somewhere inside to ride it out for at least a little while. 76 degrees with that chance for some scattered storms at six at five o'clock. Excuse me. We're going to be a little bit cooler, but still a continued chance for rain and some thunderstorms as we head into 10. So most of the day, most of the time that the Summerfest grounds are open today, there will be rain around 65 degrees overcast skies. You can see the sun trying to peek out there off in the distance from our camera out at Discovery World 63 in Elm, Gro El Elm Grove. This is our camera out at Blue Mound and Moreland dry. It's quiet out there right now. Scattered showers, not a washout today, but I keep the rain gear around. Tomorrow is a lot more hit or miss. I think much of the day is dry. We could have a few showers in the morning. We could have a few showers as the wind shift in the afternoon. Tuesday, the other day that I'm watching over the next seven with a chance for some showers and some storms. Here's future cast. Notice that rain moves in. We get some dry time. It's mainly light early. Then we see some heavier pockets and maybe even a few thunderstorms as we head into the afternoon into the evening. As the front gets closer, we could have some heavier rain. Then we dry out and we are looking much drier, still warm, still muggy as we head into the day tomorrow. But scattered showers, some rain is likely this morning, a better chance that we could see some thunder and lightning, maybe a few storms with some gusty wind and some small hail later this afternoon and evening. Rain mainly tomorrow morning. We're going to dry out. It's going to be warm. It'll be humid 85 degrees. Then the cold front really moves in. We'll feel it on Sunday. Highs closer to 70 Tuesday than the next day that I'm watching for some storms. So most of the weekend is dry today. Keep the rain gear handy. All right, Molly, thank you.